I am on the way to the studio. We're actually going to be recording a song that Andrew Lloyd Webber and I wrote together. When I first read the screenplay, and it's seen, the film is seen through Victoria's eyes. First thing I said was, we have to have a song for Victoria. It's an incredibly important central part of the whole film. Frankie Hayward plays Victoria. I mean, extraordinary talent. There was an ambition and an aspiration to have an original song in the movie. Just very much this understanding of like, let's write the best song we can. I played it to you and I said, there's a new song. You said, I'll do the lyric, and you did it then and there, more or less. Follow me home If you dare to What I couldn't believe was the extraordinary beauty of these lyrics that Taylor had written, and it was as if someone had come into the film I was in the middle of making and, you know, read the script and met the actors and seen the world and reflected back to me a, a, a profound understanding of what we're trying to do with the movie. So it was utterly thrilling. Andrew was saying, you know, it's this song we want Victoria to sing. But I sing the studio recording of the song too. Perilous night, their voices calling, a flicker of light before the dawning. And so when you started playing the music, it was just this beautiful, haunting melody. T.S. Eliot is such a specific type of writer and uses such specific language and imagery. And so reading through like his work and everything, I just really wanted to reflect that within. You can't, you can't write a modern lyric for cats. Mm. So like, if you can't get T.S. Eliot, like, get T.S. I'm here for you. <laughs>